Hey, Die Diamato again. Uh, as you know, I am bored. Um, so, I figured I'd do a trifecta of these builds. And uh, I was curious of doing what the last one was going to be of the three. And I decided, because not a lot of the other ones are really too, as pretty as these ones are, I decided to actually make the faces interesting. So, I um, got the idea this morning, and I was <clears throat> designing them pretty much all day today, uh, the faces of these things. And it's basically, well, let's show you the piece first, I think. The piece looks like this. And if this is a value of 1, this is the golden ratio to this value. I'm not even sure where this value is, but I, it's measured out. I need 30 of these pieces, which is great, because all the other builds needed like 60 or, you know, 100 or so of these. So, anyway, only 30 pieces, which is great. Um, now... The faces of this thing, I decided to print something out for them. Um, it's an ambigram. So, here's the one part here. And then if you turn it over, that's the other part. So, it's designed to say golden one way and ratios the other way. Um, which I think is pretty cute. Uh, so I printed out sheets of three, uh, and then ten sheets, so it'll be 30 pieces. And then, <laughs> I ordered gold tape from findtape.com, which I'm now in love with, uh, because they have every kind of tape you really ever need. So uh, that tape should be coming in in a couple of days, so that's when the video will be finished in a couple of days. Um, but this will be the third thing. Now, from you, when you can see in the in the actual sheet here, it looks like a, like a cube and actually look more like a hexagon. But the angles are just a little off. They're only about, if I remember correctly, it's about three degrees plus or three degrees more than sixty, which will just give a little bit of bulge um, for the shape. The name of the shape is a rhombic triacontahedron. So you can look that up on Wikipedia. It's, it's actually not all that interesting to look at, honestly. Uh, but I think having these panels and the gold on it will make it a little bit more uh, meaningful. So I'm not going to show you me cutting out this stuff because I looked last video and it wasn't really that interesting anyway. So um, Maybe once I get all the pieces cut out, I'll actually do a time lapse of me putting it together, one shot deal, uh, unlike the other two uh, almost disasters that those things were in terms of video. So um, I'll see you guys uh, in a little bit.
So we did it. Almost a near full time lapse. How about that? I know I started a little bit earlier there, but uh, there it is. You saw the whole thing pretty much getting put together. You see how I pretty much close it up with the a panel in the front right there. You know, use the razor blade to pick up the panel a little bit so I can get in there and, and really get it nice and tight. Uh, a couple other places that I think I might just tape over. Actually, I might just tape over all the seams outside here. And then I need to figure out if I'm just going to tape these on um, and over, or am I going to do something else, like just tape the edges. Really don't know yet. So um, we're going to think about it. Sleep on it because it's late. I'm not wearing my pajamas. So, anyway, I'll see you next time. What's up, folks? Don Dimato here, and it's done. Finally done. It's been a couple days. I know you can't see it in camera time, but it's been a couple days because I was waiting for this tape, which actually came in all about a half hour ago. So, as soon as it came on the doorstep, I put it on the, uh, the piece here. And as you can see, it's nice and shiny. And it goes along with the theme of the Rhombic Tria Contahedron, uh, which uses the golden ratio. And that was what I was trying to talk about before. Um, so, this length here is the golden ratio. Actually, this is the golden ratio to the width here. All right, 1.618. Uh, etc. 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 So that's why I have these panels that one, on one side says golden. If you flip it around, it should say ratios. I know the S is a little weird, you know, because I had the G and the S thing, which I would think in my mind would be easy, but the font that was used here um, was a little different. It actually looked more like a 5, so I did a little bit of editing just to try to make it look right and uh, did the best I could. People said it looked like rationed which is like a ration is a part, you know, so it's the golden part. It make it, it could still work. So anyway, uh, and also the gold tape for the golden ratio. That was what I was working for there. So it's a pretty cool piece. Uh, it's the smallest piece I think I have. Yeah, uh, that I that I uh, possess. Uh, I didn't actually check the diameter, but uh, I'm sure I'll put that up on YouTube once it is done. And uh, I also have a new page on my website um, on the Groovin section of my website called Geometry. So it's Groovin, uh, G-R-O-O.V-N slash P slash uh, Geometry HTML. Uh, the P is just for pages. So, um, but you could just obviously go to my site, daddydemato.info and click on Groovin and find Geometry there. Um, and you can see the, the finished piece. So, that about wraps it up. Um, I have acquired more cardboard, but I don't know what I'm going to build. I actually just spoke with uh, a uh, fantastic mathematician slash sculpture George Hart who gave me some uh, references into books that I should look at for more types of pieces and also some software to uh, make some pieces also. So thanks a lot for, uh, from George. Um, and uh, that's it. I'll see you.